Okay, welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate the SIM using the uh, DXE transmitter. So I'm going to use the DXE transmitter, and it's already plugged in in the back, and the power is turned off, and the other end of the plug is in a USB port. But before we do anything else, I want to make sure that you understand the trim should be centered for the ailerons and the rudder. So if you listen, it has a different sound, they're in the center. Now the um, throttle trim should be all the way to the back. This is, this is the throttle trim right here. And it's going to go all the way down. So it's all the way to the bottom. And because of how the simulator doesn't simulate the uh, real airplane, because real airplane we can adjust mechanically the clevises. The elevator trim needs to be all the way to the top. So I'm going to take this trim sw switch here and make sure it's all the way to the top. That gives us more trim to the downward position when we calibrate. <clears throat> I'll explain why in just a minute. Okay. So now, uh, the other thing you got to do is to make sure that the throttle is exactly in the center. Okay, so the throttle is exactly in the center. This one automatically centers. The rate switch is up. The uh, arm disarm switch is in the arm position. And this is very important that this center, this switch here is in the middle. In other words, it's in intermediate mode and in the middle. So now that the radio is set, we can start the calibration process. So I'm going to go up here and under system, I'm going to click on your transmitter. Okay. And note that there's a calibrate and a finish button here. So I'm going to hit the calibrate button. And it gives you a bunch of information. Yeah, you want to do this and uh, it's a simple process and so forth. And so we've already set all the switches and the trims to the positions that I recommend. And uh, so I'm going to hit the next button. Okay, so make sure your transmitter functions are at the default positions and that's where I want them. Okay. And now, because you've already centered the um, throttle, everything else stays centered, this should be good. So we're going to click next. Okay, now you walk the uh, controls to all four corners. So there's the um, elevator and the ailerons. Okay, now I'll do the same thing for the rudder, left and right, and the throttle up and down. Okay, now when I'm done, I'm going to move the throttle back to the center. Okay, so right there's the center. So all four are, of those are adjusted. Okay, so I'm going to click the next button. Okay, the next button is about the switches. Okay, so the first thing to do is take the beginner, intermediate, and advanced switch, which is channel 5. So I'm going to flip it down to be, I guess that's beginner, and then to the middle and to the top, okay, and back to the middle. So now that you see the channel 5, is working on all uh, in three positions. It's very important that this is in three positions, otherwise you won't get beginner, intermediate, and advanced. And the last switch is the panic button or the bind button, and you just press it a couple of times and make sure that the panic uh, bind switch is actually working. The other two switches don't matter, they're not part of a channel. Uh, but they do need to be in the high rates and in the um, uh, arm position. So now that that's done, we can click next and we're finished. So what that's done is what I'm about to show you. So I'm going to say finish and finish. And before I click this finish, I'm going to pull the throttle all the way back so the airplane doesn't try to start taking off. Okay. So the throttle is working. Okay, you can see the ailerons wiggling. You can see the elevator wiggling. You can see the rudder working. 
So now here's why I started with the throttle, I mean, I'm sorry, with the uh, elevator all the way forward. Because now I'm going to pull the elevator trim all the way to the bottom. Okay, that was the center. And that's the bottom. Okay. And the reason I'm doing that is because after we take off, you're going to see we want that trim to match a particular speed of the aircraft. So I'm going to take off and I'm going to take off in uh, experience mode. So I've got experience mode right there. And here we go, take it off. Okay, there's no winds. Get high enough in the air, and then I'm going to set the throttle to 50%. Okay. Guess I pulled it back a little too soon, didn't I? Almost hit the ground. All right. So what I'm trying to do here is to match, to find the proper throttle setting, so that. Uh, if you look at the altitude in the upper left hand corner, my altitude is 30 something feet. And I'm going to try to let go of the stick and level flight and see if I climb or descend. So I'm climbing slightly, so the throttle is a little high. I've got a little above 50%. So what I'm shooting for is that I can let go of the stick in level flight and it doesn't climb or descend. Okay. So it's descending slightly, so I've got to put the throttle up just a little bit more. Okay. So now you can see that the altitude is close enough for me. Now it's probably around 53%. It's just above 50%. But look at the airspeed. Okay, so the airspeed is 23 miles per hour, thereabouts. Okay. And with no winds. Okay, so what you want to do is to be able to fly this aircraft at 50% power with um, a fairly slow airspeed, 20, um, 22 miles per hour, because that's the optimum from my perspective. It's the optimum, optimum speed to fly this airplane at. Uh, not to mention the fact that in the real airplane you'll let your air uh, your battery last a whole lot longer and you'll get used to uh, doing turns if you fly it at a in other words if you didn't have this uh, elevator trim tab all the way to the bottom it wouldn't fly in level flight and uh, you'd have to fly much faster for it to stay at level flight and that's not what I'm um, comfortable with as an instructor uh, for you to learn. You need to learn to fly this airplane at a slower speed. Okay. Now you've got plenty of speed here. Okay. And note when I do a turn, okay, I'm going to do a turn at uh, say, this is experience mode, so I'm going to do a turn at 30 degrees of bank. And look how far I'm pulling the elevator back. It's uh, about halfway actually. Okay. And if you um, pull it back all the way, you'll climb, obviously. Okay. But the purpose in flying this slow is to show you, first off, you don't slam the uh, elevator or uh, aileron control um, all the way to one um, corner or one side and, uh, or up or down to fly this airplane. You want to learn to fly this airplane gently. And that's best done at the slower speed. Now, after you get used to this slower speed, we might speed it up a little bit and retrim. But remember the purpose of the elevator trim is, is to pick an airspeed and trim for that airspeed at level flight. That's why you do this. So, for example, if I wanted to fly faster, I'm going to put the throttle up to, say, 65% and watch me climb. Okay, so now I'm going to roll out here. Okay, let go of the stick and I'm just climbing, climbing, climbing. So in order to compensate for that climb, I'm going to move the elevator trim 
to neutral and then we'll find out if I can find a level um, power setting for that. So let me see if I'm level here. Okay. No, I'm still climbing. All right. But notice my speed is faster. Okay, so I'm about level flight there. 75 feet in the air. And my speed is about 5 miles per hour faster than it was before. And so you can fly faster uh, by moving the throttle up. I'm probably almost 60% here. And um, uh, flying a little faster, making it trim uh, a little better, uh, allows you to um, adjust the trim for level flight at the speed you want. That's what trims are for. Okay, so let's see if we can make a landing here. Um, <clears throat> oh, before I land, I'm going to pull it back to 50% uh, power. Pull the trim all the way back to uh, the elevator trim all the way back to the bottom. And make sure I'm in level flight. Okay, and you can see the difference in the speed. Now I'm back down to the 21, 22 mile an hour range. And at the slower speed, you have to also realize that your control services are less effective at the slower speed. So you have to compensate for that. <coughs> so we'll come in here, make a landing, and we'll be done. Throttle idle. So in future videos, I'm going to show you how you um, um, Pick a certain speed range based on the maneuvers that you're doing, and this is the what I'll call the minimum level speed that we'll have, 22 miles an hour. We may have level flight at 27, 28, as, you, as we did earlier, or even 30, uh, at a higher um, uh, throttle setting and a different uh, elevator trim. So that's how you calibrate, and that's the reason why. Okay, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.